Hello everyone. In this Highlink Shorts, I am going to tell you about a prion disease which is associated with progressive dementia and they will be having longer incubation period. So they are caused by infectious proteins. Please remember these are infectious proteins. They are neither DNA nor RNA and it can be sporadic or familial but most commonly they are sporadic, right? Roots of infection of this prion disease is iatrogenic, which is the most common root and that is by neurosurgery or corneal transplantation. Second can be uh, because of eating the infected brain from the infected animal or even from the human being also. Pathogenesis of prion disease is misfolding of proteins. In pathogenesis of prion disease, as I said, it is a misfolding. So PRPC, when you are seeing C at this top, that is the normal prion protein, alpha helical structure and they are protease sensitive, right? But because of infection or eating the contaminated food, there will be a structural change into this normal prion protein, which is present in our brain. And now they will be converted from the normal alpha helical protease sensitive to the abnormal. So now it is called as PRPSC abnormal protein, beta pleated sheet and protease resistant. Because they are beta pleated sheet, that is why they will be amyloid stain positive means Congo red stain will be positive due to this structure, right? What will happen? Now this abnormal protein will undergo misfolding and then they are going to cause neuronal cytoplasmic damage where you are going to see cluster of grape like vacuoles within the neuron and such neurons are called as spongy form neuron. I repeat, cluster of grape like vacuoles within the neuronal cytoplasm and that is why it is called as spongy form neuron right and remember in this spongy form neuron you can see there is a cluster of grape like cytoplasmic vacuoles are present so that is why they are called as spongy form neuron and you can notice this is the brain autopsy you can notice these are the cluster of grape like can you see these are the empty spaces these are the cluster of grape like vacuoles right so all these are cluster of grape like vacuoles which will be seen in all prion disease like acute fell jacobs disease kuru scrappy mad cow disease but remember it will never be seen in the fatal familial insomnia so please remember spongy form neurons are not seen in fatal familial insomnia keep learning enjoy learning best wishes